Hey guys, just some advice if you're getting some hateful comments on your TikToks and just ignore them. Think how sad those people are that are leaving those comments, you know. And obviously if they keep going, you have to stand up for yourself a small bit, you know. And as my father always says, don't say anything on a keyboard that you wouldn't say to a man's face. That's why I'm out here in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. There's a fella called Juan Pablo Jimenez. He called one of my videos shit. I'm here, Juan Pablo. I'm in your turf, kid. Come sort it out. When I seize ya, I'll squeeze ya. Irish people need to stop saying it's grand. It's not grand. Your leg is broken in five places and the wife and kids are after leaving you, Jonathan. Like, you know, it's not grand. Just say it's not grand, you know. Same thing when you go to the barbers and they show you the mirror to the back of the head. You're always like, oh, it's grand, yeah, it's grand, it's grand. She could have wrote testicles into the back of your head. You would have still said it's grand, it's grand. Grow up and stand up for yourself and tell her you have a problem, like, you know what I mean? I can't talk to women without making an absolute fool of myself, right? Even the first time I met my girlfriend, right? We were in a pub and I thought she looked gorgeous, you know? And my friend was like, Mike, you go up to her there now and you start the conversation. Something easy and normal. Say, uh, what time is it? Or uh, do you know where the bathroom is? Just to get the conversation going. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So, and I went up to her. I was like, all right, gorgeous. Uh, you wouldn't have the toilet on you there by any chance, no? And she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I, and I started panicking. And then I was like, um, do, uh, do, do you have a watch? Do you want to watch, watch me go to the toilet, no? And in front of everybody, all her friends, all my friends, fucking joke, like, absolute go me of myself, like. Anyway, joke's on her, anyway, because she's watched me go to the toilet thousands of times during the years. People on here asking me what's a nori. A nori is someone from the north side of Cork City. And if you ask them any question in the world, they'll respond with, well, I'm from the north side, boy. Anything, anything. You could be like, excuse me, sir, have you ever ran a marathon? They'd be like, uh, I'm from the north side, like, and there's too many hills. What the fuck would I be running away from? Do you know what I mean? Anything. You could be at a restaurant. They'd be like, sir, will you be having a starter with your main course? They'd be like, well, I'm from the north side, like, do you know what I mean? So if I had to start something, I'd have to finish it. Do you know what I mean? I'm always wondering as well, can someone from the north side answer this is there a competition in the north side to see who lives the most north of the north side is that a thing like <laughs> i used to live in the north north side now i live in the south north side so i used to be a nari nari now i'm more of a sorry nari more than anything else uh, i can make that joke i'm from mallow just as rough only difference is we ride our cousins i swear to god if you have a problem with me you have to fight my brother and my cousin guess what they're the same fucking person Can people in pharmacies stop shouting out our private business, please, like, you know? Do you ever notice you go in there and they'll whisper the right thing but shout the wrong thing? They'll be there, hi, Mike, how are you? Oh, that's brilliant, yeah, that's brilliant. Your penis cream here is in the corner. Here's your genital cream, boy. Rub that all over your langer there, you'll be grand. How's your mother? Is your mother good as well, yeah? How's her hairy belly button infection? Is that okay as well? She had a hairy belly button the last time I seen her. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. I know it might be normal for you to have these diseases and infections, but it's not normal for us, for other people to hear about it. Stop. Did you know being Irish can actually save your life? I was over in Louisiana a couple of years ago. Uh, if you don't know that place, it's a backward place. It's where cousins ride cousins. It's, it's like Kerry. But um, I was over there with my cousin on holidays. We weren't riding each other at the time. And uh, we got pulled over by the cops on the freeway. They were like, wait, 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 wait. Please remain in the vehicle. We're like, fuck me, boy, we better remain in the vehicle, like. And the guard came over with a walkie-talkie. He was like, we got a possible 1014, one male, one possible transvestite. We're like, who the fuck is the transvestite, boy? Don't say boy in Louisiana either. We say it in Cork. Don't say it there. They don't like it. He's like, who the fuck you call him boy, boy? I'm going to make an example out of you. I'm sick and tired of you English folk coming over here thinking you could run the place. We said, we're not English at all, boy. We're Irish. He's like, oh, you're Irish? Why don't you say so? My name is Sheriff O'Donnell. Y'all need anything? Y'all just ask you here. And we were like still half shocked. But the reason I knew he was Irish is because I goes, do you know where the liquor store is? And he was like, oh, the liquor store? See that left over there? You're going to have to ignore that. I was like, <laughs> For my birthday, my man bought me a sat nav that would give you directions in any accent in the world. It sounds fun, but it's the most racist bit of equipment I've ever seen in my life. I tried it out like I was like, English, we'll try that one first. A voice came on the sat nav, was like, All right, geezer, you go left hand around you, cup of pints of lager, you be off your fucking barnet, mate. I was like, I don't know what that means, we'll try the next one. Like, then Nigeria came up, I was like, Nigeria makes sat navs. Like, alright, okay. 
You go left down the road, yeah? Watch out for the LFO! Go underneath the LFO! Because that is bad business! Bad business! I was like, where is the Irish one? I don't understand what's happening, like. I found it, and an old man's voice came over the sat nav. It was like, right, lad. Do you see that left over there? You're going to have to ignore that, lad. You will come up, you'll see a man in the middle of a field wearing a hat and nothing else. And he'd be pulling the mickey off himself as well, lad. I was like, it took me four hours to get to Cork from Mallow and you wouldn't believe the amount of people masturbating in fields as well. Ridiculous. Kerry folk. Every single Irish person has a granddad that curses way too much, do you know? Like my granddad, he always says cunt. He always says it. He'd be like, look at that cunt over there. It's like it's a horse. Just call it what it is, granddad, do you know? And he's not getting invited to any of the family get-togethers anymore because he's offensive around the children, do you know? And I said it to him. I said, granddad, just say see you next Tuesday. Don't say cunt. Say see you next Tuesday. Everything will be fine and no one will be offended. He does not get it. He's like, Mike... Do you know who's an awful see you next Tuesday? Huh? That cunt down the road? It's like, you're just saying it twice now, Grendel.